When transitioning into middle school, people are given the option to participate in their school band. When I was at my, at my end of my fifth grade year, they put all the people that wanted to participate in the school band in this room full of instruments. The one that caught my eye was the French horn. Today we're going to talk about the French horn, which we're going to talk about where it came from, the early French horns, and the three well-known modern French horns. First, we're going to talk about the early hunting horn. The Ava Marie header from historicbrass.org says that they had early hunting horns so the hunters could give signals to where their prey was. So these are two of two hunting horns. The um, animal horn and the brass horn. The animal horn is a animal horn that's carved out so they can make noise to give signals and the brass horn is made of brass. Um, Bo Broke Instruments um, says that the um, brass horn is made like that with the such round. It's round because the hunters would put it on their shoulder while they were um, on horseback, so it'd be easier and convenience. So now that we've talked about the early hunting horn, we're going to talk about the early French horns. So this is basically like the brass horn, but it has more tubing. As you can tell, that's the brass hunting horn, and this is the French horn with the extra tubing. So weirdly enough, Broke Instruments says that the 19th century they had experiments about adding valves to the early French horns. This is a modern French horn right here. As you can tell, there's valves, but this right here is before they even did the experiments. They, ha they put valves in there to make it easier to go from one note to another. Before they have valves, they used to use the mouth position and their hand position to make notes but now you just have to keep your hand in the same place but use your mouth and the valves. So now that we talked about the early French horn, we can talk about the three well-known French horns that are basically today. There is the single French horn, the double French horn, and the marching French horn. First, we're going to talk about the single French horn. Broke Instruments calls says that it's called the single French horn because it only has one layer of tubing. The double French horn is called the double French horn because it has two layers of tubing. So it's kind of like two instruments in one. You can go from one layer to another by this trigger as you can tell by this slide. Lastly, the marching French horn. It's kind of to me, it looks like a trumpet and a baritone had a baby, but it still has, but it still has the sound of a French horn. People would use the marching French horn in um, when they were marching on a field or on a competition, because it's easier to move around and it's safer because you won't have the trouble of tucking in your horn and or getting hit by other instruments. So today we have learned about the early hunting horns, the early French horns, and the three well-known French horns that we have today. Now you know how the French horn got its unique shape and why it draws some fifth graders' eyes, well at least drew my eyes. <laughs>